So while Rich is looking at bikes from the 70s, I've come to look at something else that was pretty big at that time, scooters. And I've come to Wigan to check out one of the largest collections in the country. So Eric, you've got a pretty large and impressive collection of Vespers and Lambrettas. Now everybody's heard of them obviously, but where do they originate from? Uh, Lambretta and Vespa actually originated from Italy. Uh, basically, uh, Vespa, which is Piaggio, uh, during World War II made an engine what used to kickstart the actual motor, motor engine of the aeroplane. Oh, right. So it could go and do its business. Why, yeah. on the other hand, Lambretta was like a steel factory, what used to make tubeless steel. Mm. And uh, the, they were known for the universal joint, only, only for them we wouldn't have it the universal joint as well as the modern day scaffolding. Good grief, you'd never think that. No, never no, think that's no. about those. So are they completely different then as bikes? Uh, a lot of people what won't know would say a scooter's a scooter, but mm. to the people what do know, Lambrettas are much different to a Vespa. Mm. As in like a Lambretta, everything's bolt on. Yeah. Where a Vespa is like a like I said, the airplane, it's it's all one body. Right. You know, oh, uh, all one chassis going yeah. underneath. Yeah. Where a Ves a Lambretta is just like a tubular bar yeah. with everything 50% on each side balanced all the way up the middle. So Eric, I actually heard a rumour that the Lambretta was once classed as a motorbike. Is there any truth in that? There is. A lot of people won't like me saying it, but mm. Lambretta was actually classed as a motorbike because it had a, a chain uh, driven back wheel, right. uh, which a motorbike has. Yeah. And also a, a thing what a lot of people don't know is Lambretta were the first production motorbike to have a disc brake added to it. Right. So before your Kawasaki's and all that, you've got Lambretta to thank for your disc brake. And you're going to be right, there's not many people going to be happy yeah. with that fact. Yeah. So now everybody associates scooters with mods, but I mean, they were born in the 40s, so where, what were they doing before mods? Well, like I said, they, they were during the war and Italy got a bit flattened, didn't it, with this bomb mm. in it. Mm. So basically the country had to get back up going. So. Uh, Lambretta and Vespa were born yeah. and it got the country back on its feet again. The mods va revitalised the actual scooter, you know, yeah. uh, Lambretta and Vespa, and made it like a custom thing, what you could put anything on and make it your yeah. own identity. Yeah. And basically fetched into the for forefront of the two mm. wheels, everybody wanted one. And of doctors course, Quadrophenia yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, you it brought it all into the 70s and everything. Yeah, you yeah. got doctors, lawyers, everybody, even policemen mm. having them. You know, it was the thing to have in that, in that era. So now, are they still making Lambrettas and Vespers? No. The Lambrettas stopped, basically, in 1976. Mm. Now, Vespa carried yeah. on. They, you know, the Vest money's on, on them. To they, present day. Yeah, they've right. gone and, you know, the things, what they've done with them, they've made uh, hydraulic discs. They've put electric starts on, oil injection. You know, they've done the mm. work. They've even done a fuel injection. So they can you know, keep up with any modern yeah, day. Yeah, scooter. you've got this this two wheel bike, which basically uh, was made in 1946, mm. 47. And up to present date, they're carrying on, mm. still making them, and they're doing well over 80, mm. 90 mile an hour. Fantastic. And of course, they brought the classic look. Yes, with they them still too. got them. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I know all my history, so I'm going to go and have a look around if that's all right with you. No problem. Fantastic. Thanks, Eric. All right. Thank you.